Hey everybody, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. One of the great things about the Steam Deck being so popular is that there are a ton of different accessories that are coming out for it. And today we're going to talk about one of these. This one here is called the Deckmate. And this essentially is an accessory system for your Steam Deck. You can use it for a variety of different use cases, which we'll talk about here in this video. And each of these different use cases are anchored by the one single Deckmate accessory. For example, you could use this to attach an external battery to your Steam Deck so that you can play on the go. And my personal favorite use case among all of them is the very sturdy and versatile kickstand right here. But the Deckmate also opens up other options that you might not have considered. For example, you could use just a full-on wall mount for it. Or you could attach it to a Visa mount if you wanted a makeshift external monitor solution as well. Either way, let's check out the Deckmate and see if it's going to be a good fit for you. Okay, before we get started, one quick disclaimer here. The Deckmate is not designed to be used with a Steam Deck with the leather skin on it. And they actually sent this review unit out to me a couple months ago, and I've just been putting it off because I didn't want to take the skin off of my device. Either way, in this video, I am going to attach it to my leather Steam Deck, knowing full well that it will damage it just a little bit. And so to give you an indication of what the leather skin will look like after trying it about four or five times, you can see what it looks like here. And the folks behind Deckmate are aware of the limitations with that specific Deckmate grip. In fact, in their FAQ section, they actually have a nice handy table right here that'll show you which accessories work best with it. And as we'll show later in the video, there is a Deckmate adapter that doesn't require the grip if you wanted to do that as well. But as you'll also see, it does have some limitations too. And I think at the end of the day, any of the accessories that are going to be like this are just going to be facing an uphill battle. After all, there are so many different docks and cases that one thing can't be compatible with everything. And so depending on your setup, you may have to think twice about which one is going to work best for you. Now, thankfully, on the Deckmate website, they have a bunch of different bundles available based on your use case. And so if there are some accessories you don't think you're going to use, then you have the ability to pick and choose them right here. And you can also purchase the parts a la carte as well. Now, the bundle they sent me for review is their most popular one. It's the one that's called the entire system. And as you can imagine, it comes with all the accessories in one. Personally, if I was going to get one myself, I would probably consider the Essentials Bundle. This one's going to come with the Deckmate Grip and Kickstand. But then it also comes with the Deckmate Adapter, so you can put it on anything, and then also the Universal Mount, which they also call the Puck. And I think all around, this is a very versatile option right here. Now, one of my favorite things about the Deckmate is that it's made by a fan for other Steam Deck fans. And so, for example, they have all the digital files available for free on their website. And so, if you have the means to print any of these accessories, you can actually just do it yourself for free. And of course, this isn't something you would see from a large company. And so, I really like the fact here that they really just want to get the Deckmate into other people's hands. And so, you can either do it yourself for free, or you can pay for them to do it for you. Now, installing the Deckmate itself is relatively easy. In fact, even with an additional leather skin on it, it's not too hard. Essentially, all you have to do is just line it up with the exhaust vent here on the top and then clip it up here on the bottom. And that's really about it. There's only one way you can really connect it. Now, in my case with the leather skin, I have to be very careful about when I place it on. As you can see right here, it does put a lot of pressure on those two parts. The other consequence here of having a leather skin is that it doesn't actually connect here on the bottom perfectly. And as you can see here, there's a small space here at the bottom, which is probably causing a little bit of stress on the grip itself. And so when it comes to long-term use, I don't recommend using the Deckmate grip with a leather skin. Regardless, I've already made that damage here on my device for you folks, and so let's actually test it out now that it's attached. Let's start by testing the universal mount. Now this one has a spring-loaded mechanism right here, and you can actually connect it with either orientation, but as you'll see, if you're going to use something heavy, you're going to want to do it with the spring down. Either way, it's very simple to attach here and quite sturdy once you have it in. And this one has a wide variety of use cases, we'll talk more about that here in a second. Next, let's try the kickstand. This one's actually my favorite among all of them. Same thing here, you just kind of squeeze it in and it attaches really easily. And the nice thing about this kickstand is that it's super sturdy, but then also has a lot of range to it as well. And so if you wanted to try it at a typical like 45 degree-ish angle, you could totally do that. But what I found is I really like it when I lay it more flat. It seems really comfortable that way too. And so as far as kickstand accessories go, I know there's plenty of other options out there, but I love the fact that you can do it on the Deckmate as well as other things with the same accessory system. Now there's also a wall mount attachment. It includes an adhesive, but then also two screw holes as well. Now I'm not sure there's going to be a practical use for you to be able to mount a Steam Deck on a wall, but yes, this is one of the many options they have available with the Deckmate. 
Another one that's kind of interesting is the Visa mount that we showed off earlier. The idea here is that if you had an extra monitor arm, you could install this onto the monitor arm and then you could throw the deck mate onto this so that you could have your Steam Deck suspended up on a monitor arm. Again, I'm not really sure if this would be an ideal use case for you, but maybe you have a single monitor setup and you want to use the Steam Deck for a dual monitor one. This might work out too. Either way, it's kind of neat that they came up with these random scenarios in case it fits for your use case. Additionally, in my bundle, it came with all the other accessories that I would want, for example, the Visa mount screws, as well as for the wall mount, too. Now, if you're in a situation like me, where you have a hard shell case or a leather skin on your Steam Deck, there is another way to use the Deckmate system. And that's because we have this other option right here. This one is called the Deckmate Adapter. Essentially, what this can do is replace the entire Deckmate grip so that you just stick it directly onto your Steam Deck, and then you have access to the entire Deckmate system without having the limitations of the grip itself. And so, for example, if you have Valve Steam Deck Dock, then you could use the adapter here instead of the grip. Additionally, a kind of neat idea, too, is that you could use this adapter on other devices that aren't the Steam Deck. For example, here's the Ioneo 2, and so if I wanted to, I could use the adhesive here to center it directly onto the back, and then I could use the other parts of the system, like the kickstand, as well as the universal mount for like a battery pack, which I'll show here in a minute. Now that being said, there are some reasons to use the grip. For example, it's not going to be a more permanent solution by putting an adhesive on the back of your device. But then also the Deckmate grip comes with two micro SD card slots right here, and these are super handy. In fact, these actually click in when you push them in, and so they're super sturdy. They're not actually going to fall out if you were to move it around. And so if you have additional micro SD cards, for example, additional storage, or maybe a Bodicera image, then you could use this instead. Now, besides the kickstand, my other favorite accessory is this one here, the universal mount puck. In particular, I think that the best use case for this is going to be to add it to a battery pack. Now, I don't have a ton of battery packs here at the house. They're actually really hard to get shipped to Hawaii. But I do have this monster 87 watt hour one here from Anchor. And so the idea here is that you would take the adhesive and stick it to this battery pack. And then using the universal mount, you could attach this to the back of the Steam Deck. And given that this is an 87 watt hour battery compared to the 40 within the Steam Deck, that means we'll have at least an additional two charge cycles for the Steam Deck. And so all of a sudden that four hour battery life with Hades now turns into 12. Now word of warning, the adhesive they're using here is very strong. And so if you are gonna put this on something, just know that it's basically a permanent mount. But it's actually pretty easy to remove afterwards if you use a little bit of alcohol, it's just not gonna be very sticky after that either. And so if you are gonna mount it to something, I would think a little bit about what you're gonna do before you actually do it. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, you can attach this either way with the spring facing up or down. But I found that with heavier things, with the spring facing up, it'll actually slide right out. And I actually didn't realize this when I was first putting the adhesive onto the battery pack, and so I kind of did it upside down. Either way, the lesson here is that while it does fit with the spring facing up, you're going to want to have it with the spring down. And that makes sense because that's how the kickstand is designed naturally as well. Regardless, once I actually put it on with the spring facing down, yeah, no problems here. It's not falling out in any way. It's very sturdy here in the case. In fact, I was trying to actively have it fall out and I could not once I had it set up properly. Now, my battery pack that I'm using here might be a little bit too big for this use case. After all, you're still going to need a cable connecting the USB-C port to the battery itself. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a short USB-C to USB-C cable to test with, but I do have a shorter USB-A cable, so I'm going to use this as a demonstration. Now, this won't actually charge the Steam Deck because it needs to be C to C, but you can also see from this setup that the size of the battery plus the cable right here does inhibit movement here on the back. And so my recommendation here would be to measure your battery pack to make sure you're going to have enough space. And then also I would recommend using a USB-C cable that has a 90 degree angle on it so it doesn't take up as much space. And these are pretty cheap. In fact, I found a three pack for $10. I'll have it linked in the video description in case you want to check it out. Either way, I think this is one of the best use cases for the Deckmate right here. You can have additional battery life while still keeping a relatively portable profile. And of course, you could really get Inception with this thing as well. For example, you could stack Deckmate things on top of the other. And so if you wanted, you could attach the adapter to your battery pack and then use that with something like a kickstand or maybe a second battery. Really, the sky's the limit. Anyway, I think that's one of the neater things about the Deckmate is that you can stack these things for various use cases. Now, of course, let's be realistic here. Adding a big battery pack to the back of your Steam Deck is going to make it very heavy. In fact, it nearly doubles the weight of the Steam Deck. This is almost three pounds altogether. So what I would recommend doing, if you're thinking about getting a Deckmate with an external battery, I would take that battery and attach it to your Steam Deck with something like a rubber band. 
and then maybe walk around with it like that and see whether or not that weight is going to work out for you. Either way, the option is there and it is pretty neat. Now, when it comes to docks, the valve dock's not going to fit at all with the Deckmate grip. But there are a couple other docks that have a larger width to them, for example the JSO dock as well as this one here from iVolver. And so yes, even with the Deckmate grip it is dockable, but only with a third party solution. Now removing the Deckmate grip is relatively easy, you would just kind of pull it up from here at the top, and very gently you would want to pull it apart the rest of the way. So let's take a quick assessment of my leather skin after doing this about four or five times altogether. As you can see on the bottom here there are definitely some marks from when it was attached, and same thing here on the top lip in the front. And so yeah, like I mentioned in the beginning, I would not recommend this for long term use with a leather skin, but as a sacrifice for a YouTube video I think it'll work out just fine. I think the minimal amount of damage here is totally worth it when it comes to showing off the potential of the deckmate itself. Alright, so now that we've gone through all the different testing, let's talk about what I like and don't like about the deckmate. Number one, I like that it's a very well made kit. It doesn't feel like this is a one man show at all, in fact it feels like it's made by something from a larger company. But that being said, the team behind Deckmate has still kept that DIY aesthetic from a smaller brand. And so for example I love the fact that they have the digital files hosted for free on their website in case you want to print this off yourself. And personally I love the feel of the kickstand here, it's super sturdy and it has a wide range to it as well. In particular I found that laying it at its widest angle was the most comfortable for me in a tabletop setting. And finally I found that the Deckmate system is very sturdy, provided that you install it correctly unlike me. As long as you put everything with the spring facing down, everything is going to be super secure. It is possible to attach it with the spring facing up, but as you'll see under heavy loads it does not stay connected. Now there are a couple things I could nitpick about the Deckmate, and it really has to do with the limitations of trying to use a universal mount system on something that has so many different accessories available. For example, I would prefer to use the Deckmate grip with my Steam Deck, but it doesn't work well with thicker skins like the leather skin that I have from Dbrand. And the same thing will be true with something like a hard shell case like the Kill Switch. Now of course there is that universal mount that you can attach to the back of your device. But also bear in mind that attaching something to your Steam Deck like this feels very permanent. The adhesive they're using is very strong, and so because of that this isn't something you could just put on and take off and do that multiple times. And so in the end my warning here would just be that if you are planning on putting something on with an adhesive, just make sure you've thought it through because there's no going back. However, in the end, I think that if you acknowledge all of these different limitations and you know what you're getting yourself into, the Deckmate is a really neat accessory system for the Steam Deck. In addition to having a very handy and universal kickstand, you can also use it to attach to things like battery packs. And then of course there is a visa mount and wall mount option as well if you want to attach the Steam Deck to something else and have it suspended. And so in the end, I definitely recommend the Deckmate as long as it works with whatever other accessories you already have, and you're willing to work with the idea of putting an adhesive on whatever accessories you want to attach it to. And so let me know what you think in the comments below, what other use cases did I not think of in this review? To me that's one of the coolest things about the Deckmate, is that we're really only limited by our imaginations. And so I'm interested to see in the comments below what other uses you can think of. And so if you are thinking about getting a Deckmate, be sure to use the code RETROGAMECORE, one word, and that'll give you 10% off your order. And I'll have a link to that as well as the coupon code in the video description below. Thanks to Deckmate for sending this out for review, and as always thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful, and we will see you next time. Happy gaming.